There is a lot of speculation about the influence of self-help products, the books, the motivational videos, or the lectures. The truth is, such products only work if only the people understand what they read and implement the given advice. In this episode, we are going to discuss why self-help fails. Motivation is sometimes overrated. If we become too dependent on a feeling of a motivation to do a task, we'll become lazy and always seek that feeling of being motivated to do something. That is the initial stage of a bad habit. We would always wait to find some inspiration so that we can get our things done. Maybe we would read someone else's success story, watch a motivational video again or use the apps to give ourselves an instant surge of creative inspiration that would motivate us to do the work that we would have to do anyway for our benefit. This is the strategy used by the most people and this is the sad reality. They wait Wait for the motivation until they decide to take action like studying, preparing for an exam, going to the gym, etc. The problem rises when this dependence on motivation gets prominence. We would constantly look for a new source of motivation and inspiration to get our things done. Self-help books encourage side hustles, which may lead to burnout situations. You don't need to read self-improvement industry statistics to find out if you are experiencing burnout. If you push yourself too hard, that is not self-help. Self-help books are useless if the readers don't implement what they have learned. Additionally, self-help books sometimes contradict themselves and are always written based on the author's personal experience and opinion, meaning their advice can't always be implemented in a similar way. Self-help can be harmful if people follow bad advice, wrong advice, or even misunderstand a good advice. In some cases, it is better to seek professional help rather than rely on self-help. However, reliance on self-help can sometimes discourage people from seeking professional help. Watching motivational videos can pump us up temporarily. Soon after, we will get back to our ordinary state. The self-help books can give us an unrealistic expectation and try to convince us that there is something fundamentally wrong with us or our mindset without sharing any scientific evidence to back up their claim. The industry wants us to feel desperate so that they can sell us life-changing products. We all know we are looking for quick fixes for the problems of our life and they are ready to sell them. Most importantly, self-help products, books, lectures, they talk about motivations to work. It means how you will get motivated by their product to get your things done. On the contrary, the truth is we should take actions to get our things done to get motivated. Even if we take a tiny action to get a tiny part of a big work done, that will motivate us to continue and further the work and eventually finish it. Now, do you want to know five most interesting facts about this self-help industry? You could find them here.